So hello everybody, good afternoon. Uh, I am Eleni Fudulaki from uh, the Institute of Marine Biology, Biotechnology and Aquaculture of uh, HCMR. I am a partner uh, of Perform Fish and uh, I will very briefly present you the outcomes of uh, our trials in CBAS uh, concerning the war packets for the efficient feeds. Fortunately, Marta covered the first part of my speech, so I had the time to exclude um, what is sustainability and all this as we hear. So I go directly uh, to the point and uh, um, we have to try and test alternative raw materials to fish meal and fish oil that have demonstrated potential to improve KPIs in order to be able to supply the industry uh, with more sustainable feeds. So, uh, we, concerning the alternatives to fish meal, uh, we uh, choose two products uh, with high protein content, uh, yeast protein, having a 43% protein, a high quality functional protein, very rich in nucleotides, glutamic acid, amino acids, peptides and inositol, as well as uh, a product come, that comes from a soya bean meal when fermented with lactic acid bacteria, reaching 49% uh, protein, high digestible protein with uh, low anti-nutritional factors, uh, where in literature is uh, reported that they support good growth and good gut health. Uh, we formulate uh, four diets. Uh, the control diet uh, contained 30% uh, fish meal and uh, three other diets where fish meal was reduced to 12%. And uh, we add the two uh, raw materials at increasing levels, fermented soya at 10, 20 and 30% and yeast protein at two and a half, five and seven and a half percent. We produce the feed, uh, the feeds with an experimental extruder, uh, having a protein content of 47.5% uh, and 17% fat. Moving to the fish, uh, we use a sea bass of 16.5 grams, uh, feeding at libitum three times per day for 71 days at uh, 20 degrees Celsius. And uh, at the end of the trial, we measure uh, growth performance indicators, feed utilization, digestibility of protein, fat, starch, and carbohydrates, whole body composition, immune response, liver and gut histology, and the antioxidant status of the fish. And moving to the results, uh, there was no significant differences uh, in the final body weights uh, of the fish, and consequently SGR was the same. Um, surprisingly, uh, feed consumption was different, and uh, the group of fish fed on novel one showed the lowest uh, consumption significantly different uh, from the novel two, which uh, although as we saw before um, didn't lead uh, in uh, lower growth, but uh, consuming less, they reached the same final weight as the control and the other two diets. Uh, FCR was not significantly different, but tended to be lower in uh, novel one diet, the lowest. Uh, inclusion level of the raw, novel raw materials. Um, the digestibility results uh, show not significant differences in protein and fat. Only in carbohydrates, there was a trend to be higher by the inclusion of the novel uh, ingredients at all inclusion levels. Um, looking at the morphology of the liver, which was uh, surprisingly, um, there was a lower lipid accumulation in hepatocytes. I don't know, maybe you don't see it here uh, so well. Um, all groups of fish fed on the novel ingredients show uh, well cells with a central nuclei and a 
a low, a very low lipid accumulation. And this was also accompanied with a lower hepatosomatic index compared to the controlled diet. On the immune response, um, there was no significant differences. Only uh, the hemoglobin uh, tended slightly, slightly to be higher uh, in uh, those fish fed on the novel uh, ingredients at all inclusion levels. Um, the measurement of the antioxidant uh, enzymes, of the activity of the antioxidant enzymes to see how the system reacts when you add these raw materials, namely the selenium glutathione peroxidase activity, uh, the glutathione S-transferase and the catalase. Uh, as you can see, uh, we didn't have any strong effect. Um, marginally, it was affected by the raw material, maybe the second level um, uh, for the glutathione peroxidase aluminum dependent and uh, in the novel three for the uh, glutathione transferase. Um, concerning the digestive, the digestive enzymes, uh, the activity of aminopeptidase and trypsin uh, was uh, measured. Uh, concerning the aminopeptidase, uh, we didn't have any strong effect, um, only in the third uh, level of inclusion, the highest level. Um, but surprisingly, trypsin activity was reduced uh, in all inclusion levels, which was not reflected actually in the digestibility, because as we saw, we have a high uh, protein digestibility, not more than 95%. It's something to see better when we write the publication, maybe. In conclusion, concerning the growth performance and feed utilization, as we saw, low inclusion of novel raw materials in the novel one uh, diet, uh, we saw a positive effect on the final body weight where we have a lower feed consumption, but a, a similar final body weight as the other diets. On digestibility, similar digestibilities for protein with a control and the novel ingredients, uh, showing that uh, the protein content of these raw materials is high digestible, like fish meal. Uh, the inclusion of the novel raw materials revealed a higher digestibility of uh, carbohydrates, uh, no differences on uh, whole body composition, and um, concerning the health, the antioxidant status of the fish showed marginal effects on the antioxidant system due to the different raw materials, but uh, there was a reduction in the digestive enzyme activity, in trypsin activity. Uh, as far as immune response, fish meal can efficiently, uh, can say, we can say that fish meal can be efficiently replaced by these two raw materials uh, in the conditions of the present study without affecting uh, the systemic immunity of CBAS. Um, concerning the novel effective alternatives to fish oil, we choose to um, test two products as meals, not as oils, krill meal and alga meal. Krill meal is naturally high in EPA, BHA, and for phospholipids. Uh, it has a good palatability and it is a natural source of carotenoids. It can be used in all fish species from larvae to starters to growers diets in low inclusion levels when fish meal is very low because mm -hmm. it increases the palatability and not only. It's the, the certain product was full fat and uh, the EPIC content was 16% uh, and DHA content 6.5%. The other product, the alga meal, uh, is uh, a long chain omega-3 rich algae ingredient. It's coming from schizochytrium, uh, where these microalgae are grown in uh, closed fermentation tanks, where they can transform renewable sustainable plant sugars into algae containing omega-3 rich soil in days. 
uh, these products contained 0.5% uh, um, EPA and 55.7% DHA of the total fatty acids. So we formulate three diets. Uh, all of them contain 10% fish meal. The control diet contained 11% fish oil and 3.8% rapeseed oil. While algae diet contained 5% algae meal, 3% fish oil and 9% rapeseed oil. And finally, krill diet, 5% krill, zero fish oil and only rapeseed oil, 13.5%. The EPA and DHA content were um, uh, at levels to cover their nutritional requirements for uh, the sea bass at this age. Um, and protein and fat was Seven, uh, 47, 48, close to 48, the protein and 70% fat. Diets were, were produced by our experimental extruder. And we use, we, we run two trials first. The first trial concerns the juveniles, CBAS 19.4 grams, feeding at libitum three times per day for 90 days at 22 degrees. In trial two, we choose. Uh, Adults, 2 uh, 221 uh, initial body weight, two times per day, per day feeding, um, duration uh, 71 days and uh, 22 degrees. Uh, we measure growth performance indicators, feed utilization, whole body composition, fillet composition, fatty acid profile, antioxidant defense system, and immune response. From the results, what we saw, final body weight significantly better in the krill diet. Uh, comparable to the control, lower growth uh, with algae. This was reflected in the specific growth rate. Feed consumption was the, the lowest in uh, the alga meal diet. Probably palatability issues, even if it was 5%. Um, a better FCR by the inclusion of the krill meal, although significant differences were not shown, but it was a better FCR. Uh, and a better antioxidant defense system. It is clear that uh, the, the selenium glutathione peroxidase and the SGAT and the CAT were better in the krill diet. Okay, the catalase was also not different in the algae diet. Uh, but this, I'm not so expert to explain why, because uh, it's another colleague that is performing those studies. Uh, concerning the immune response, um, both uh, addition of uh, the algal meal and the cream did not affect strongly the immune status, but the fish fed on the algal meal uh, tended to show a, a more a reduced uh, immune response. Um, in trial two with a uh, um, commercial sized fish, there was no differences after 70 days of feeding. The fish reached uh, almost commercial size, 340 grams. Uh, there was no significant differences, uh, although there was a trend of a better growth in the krill diet. And concerning the fillet gross composition, um, we saw a reduced uh, fillet uh, fat content uh, in the group of fish fed on the krill diet. Um, the fatty acid profile reflected uh, the fatty acid profile of the diet. Um, the quality indexes um, showed a um, lower atherogenic index uh, in the fillets of the fish fed the krill diet, as well as a lower uh, hypercholesterolemic index, which was also significant. So um, concerning the alternatives to fish oil, uh, we can conclude that the inclusion of krill meal uh, in a low fish meal and zero fish oil diet 
resulted in better growth performance uh, comparable to the control diet where the fish oil was added. Uh, the algae meal inclusion resulted in lower in a lower growth performance. Uh, feed utilization was improved by the inclusion of krill meal and alga meal, although differences were not significant. Uh, commercial sized fish showed a lower fillet fat content in the, uh, in the krill diet. And finally, the quality of the fillets in omega-3 PUFA was the same in both diets, while the fillets of the fish fed on the krill meal diet can supply to the consumers adequate percentage of PUFA with a low hypercholesterolemic index, as well as a lower atherogenic index. As a general conclusion, when we combine, let's say, the two um, uh, trials, uh, we can say that under always the conditions of the present study in European sea bars, it is possible to substitute fish meal by other high protein raw materials such as yeast, protein and fermented soya without any adverse effect on growth performance, on feed utilization, digestibility, and overall the health status of the fish. Krill meal could be an optimum alternative to fish oil substituting completely fish oil from Sibas diets, either in juveniles or in commercial sized fish, leading to a better growth performance and feed utilization, fish health, and fillet quality for human consumption. Thank you very much.